Well, sporting icon tennis legend Boris Becker is behind bars after being sentenced to two and a half years in prison for hiding millions of dollars in assets to avoid paying huge debts. The six-time Grand Slam winner was accused of hiding his Wimbledon trophies too when he was made bankrupt in 2017. Well, one woman standing by him is his ex-wife, Lily. They're divorced in 2018 but remain on good terms. And Lily Becker joins me now for her first interview since the shocking news of Boris going to prison. Well, good evening to you, Lily. Thank you. It, it must be, I mean, for the rest of us, we're watching this iconic guy go to prison. It seems a, a, a terrible fall from grace for him. Many people will think he deserved it because of the scale of money which he was involved in, in trying to hide. Other people will think it seems quite a severe sentence. But for you and his family, and it's a big family and he's had a complicated life in many ways, but it must be so personal for you what's happened. I think it's personal for all of us. Like you said, he said, uh, we have a big family. I call us the original patchwork family in, my, um, in Germany. Uh, we all pulled together, his ex-wife, the kids, um, his current girlfriend, Lillian. We all, the first thing we did was reach out to each other, yes. And um, it's hard because it's public, it's everywhere. It's hard because everybody has an opinion about it, rightly so. Mm. Um, and I'm here to, to actually show everybody that he has a bunch of really strong women behind him and here to not speak be for, for him, but to protect him. I mean, it, I mean, it, it was well known that uh, a while ago, you and his girlfriend Lillian had a bit of a spat. You went on social media and had a bit of a pop at her. But has what's happened brought you guys close in a weird way that you both see a guy that you've had great love for? Go to prison? Absolutely. And uh, up until today, I'm super embarrassed. And um, we're going to meet up pretty soon. And I would love to apologize to her face to face. Um, to Lillian. To Lillian, Lillian absolutely. Yeah. She was the first one to uh, reach out to me, uh, asked how I was doing, how I was holding up, really? how's our days. I said, absolutely. I said, thank you. Um, we're doing OK, A OK, as good mm -hmm. as it can be. Then uh, I called Barbara, the ex-wife, and um, it was just a non-spoken thing. It's like, right, here we are, let's get together and let's protect this guy. The humiliation was already enough for him to have it done on air for three weeks long, sitting there, not being able to, to well, he can't defend himself, but as if you know Boris, you know, you know that he has pride. And uh, to then be sentenced and everybody immediately having something to say, yeah, he deserves it. We don't know what he deserves. The, but the, humilia hum the humiliation, that is already... When you heard he was enough. getting a two-and-a-half-year prison centre, that's a long time. <laughs> and this is the man who's the father of, of your, of son, your son, son, Amadeus, who's 12 now. What was that moment like for you when you heard the sentence? I completely broke down. I couldn't hear... I couldn't believe what I was hearing because I was convinced up until the judge made her verdict that he was going to get off a little bit lighter than, I mean, two-and-a-half years, and I had to keep it together. And I did not know how I did it. I, I kind of did it. Thank God my son, I was prepared. I kept him out of school. He was upstairs. Does he, he was... know, know what's happened to Boris? Uh, I, I, he does now. He did. I had to break it down to him. His kids have... will tell him at school. He'll see it on the internet, right? I mean, but there was the, the thing. World. I had kept, we as a family, including Boris, Lillian, and, and the kids, we had by, uh, purposely not allowed him or spoke about the trial or anything. And then... Um, I didn't have no chance but to break my heart or actually his heart last Sunday. And it's, I don't wish this upon anybody. It was the hardest thing I had to do with a 12-year-old. To tell him his dad was going to prison. He did. He just couldn't grasp him, still can't. And it breaks my heart. But it just made me into Tiger Mama because I feel now that I think we've all been through enough as a family. There is a mother involved. I'm not here. I'm not asking for sympathy. I don't want it, nor... Would Boris want that? I'm asking for empathy. I'm asking for everybody that had an opinion or wanted to write about him that, to please stop. You saw Boris um, just before he got sentenced. Yeah. What was his state of mind about this? Does he feel that the judge did criticise him for not showing any humility or accepting he'd done much wrong? Do you think, as the time came nearer, that Boris understood what he'd done and it was wrong? I think Boris always knew what was, was, was going to happen. He knew from the beginning this is, this is going to be a tough one, it's going to be worldwide. It's, but what do you do in a situation like that? You just go and be mentally prepared. And thank God his mental health is so strong and he was probably prepared for these moments because uh, life at Boris is never boring. It, it, it is headline after headline. And what has happened to him now, I think, uh, please allow him to heal behind closed doors and let do you, him... Do you know how he's getting on in prison? It must be a very different experience for him. Liliana has told me that he's OK. 
he's fine. I mean, it's not a five-star hotel, is it? Like, he, he can be as good as he can be. And what about his sense of pride you talked about earlier? Does he feel a sense of shame about well, what's happened? Wouldn't you? I think everybody is. And that's why I feel that you know he's embarrassed, you know he's humiliated, he knows that everybody will always had. So how is he going to pick himself up from this? And the best way he can is stay, trying to stay mentally strong, focused, because it's just an obstacle in the road. It takes a pretty extraordinary guy to... He is extraordinary. Well, I was going to say, I mean, I've known Boris socially and I've always liked him. Yeah. Uh, he's, a, he's a great character and he was a wonderful sportsman. I remember when he won Wimbledon at 17. He was one of the best. I mean, amazing. He's also always had a magnetic appeal to women. Still has. And here yes. you are, a beautiful woman talking as his ex-wife, very lovingly about him. Lillian, his girlfriend, very beautiful, talks lovingly about him. His first ex-wife talks lovingly about him. You're all coming together. What is it about Boris Becker that has that draw to women like you? Well, that's exactly it. It's just, either you have it or you don't. He has a great charisma. He is a fantastic father, a funny guy, honest, and you either have that swag or not. And he is... If you've met him, you yeah. know how charismatic he is. Yeah. You know when you sit down and he tells a story, you are just glued to him. He's got these blue eyes and it's just a charm. And this is how he's won lots of fans. But how will he deal now, Lily, do you think, with the fact he's now a convicted criminal? Because he is a man of pride. Yes. And when he comes out of prison, it may be in a year, a year and a half, whenever it may be, he will come out as a convicted criminal. His life will never be the same again. Says who? Well, he is a convicted criminal. He is a convicted criminal. Who says his life will never be the same again? If, for, if the, the people that are standing by him, and which is a lot, I think, don't we all have a comeback kid? He did... Yes, I, I want to get... <laughs> he has... Well, he's been committed for a crime. Well, He's he, going to do I, the time. For those who, don't, yeah. for those who haven't okay. followed it, he was sentenced to two and a half years for hiding $3.1 million in assets to avoid paying debt. So he got into heavy debt and he tried to hide money which should have been used to pay it off. That was his crime. Do you think that the sentence was justified? No. I think it's way too harsh. Absolutely, I think it's way too harsh. Should it be a crime, uh, punishment? Absolutely. Um, I think personally, obviously, I'm biased. I'm, I'm you know, part of the Becker family. My last name is Becker. But I think two and a half, in, 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 it's hard. It's very harsh. Um, but we knew from the beginning that this, this judge, she was not going to take no... Uh, Are you hoping to take Amadeus to see his father in prison? He is dying to see his father. I have just... We, I have just told a 12-year-old um, that his father is in jail. And the, the saddest part about it was that I couldn't break it down because these kids are now going on YouTube. Mm -hmm. They are going on the Internet. Internet is cruel. But he also has a, a loving support system around him. And um, he's curious. Um, and I've told him we all make mistakes. Your papa didn't listen to the law, and he's on the naughty step, a little bigger one. And uh, what was the last thing you said to Boris before when he when he last saw you? I honestly, I wrote him, and um, I said to him, <laughs> um, "See you next weekend if you want to, if you want to see A. Uh, all will be good." He gave me this, and I sent him a heart, and that was it. And you haven't spoken to him since he went inside. No. Do you hope to go in yourself? Uh, if, if he would want to, yes. I mean, I, I, absolutely. I've, with my son, 100%, I think I need to be holding my hand with him. And, and of course, I want to see him. I'm dying to see him. Lily, I'm very sorry for what's happened to, yeah. to you and to Amadeus. It's very tough for a little boy to see his dad go yeah. to prison. I've got a lot of time for Boris. I think what he did was wrong. And I don't try and justify that no, in any I? way. No, nobody I think, is. I don't think anybody is. But uh, I hope he's OK uh, during his time in prison. I hope he comes out learning his lessons and that uh, we can get to see him again. And uh, the fact that you stand by him as his ex-wife says a lot about his character. Yeah. Well, you may have noticed I've still got Lily Becker with me. And there's a reason for that, because when the interview ended, uh, she suddenly told me, actually, we're not divorced. I'm still married to Boris. And we have this extraordinary conversation. I said, well, why don't you just stay here for a little bit and we'll just resolve this once and for all. So everyone keeps reporting that you're divorced. You're still his wife. You're, you're not divorced I'm at all. I'm very much still his wife. A strange wife, as that may be, but we're still very much married. We have been since we mend our separate ways. And do, do you want to get divorced? <laughs> um, oh, that's a, oh, why did you ask me that? I think it's... Boris has said you're, you're the most intense lover he's ever had in his life. Uh, it was from the beginning intense. It, it was a complete true love story. There is no ifs or buts about it. And everybody that knows us 
knows this. You it's don't not... want to divorce him, do you? Um, that's a, why do you do this? It's not that I don't want to get a divorce. I think we should handle our business at the right time. This is not the right time. This is everybody's involved. We will do it how... But right now, you're still his wife and you yes. still love him. Of course I do. Of course I do. We all love him. Lillian loves him, Barbara loves him, Amadeus loves him. But right now we need to be a unity. And I think this, this let's get divorced or not, that, that's definitely on the back burner. Let's get him sorted. Let's get him right. Then we all get to, as we do right now, and then we do it when it's the right time. OK, well, I wanted to keep you here to set the record straight. So there we have it, a yeah. world exclusive. Boris Berg is not divorced from Lily. They're still married. Uh, he's talked about your crazy love. I can see a bit of crazy love coming back from you to him. So who the hell knows how this all washes up? But it's it's fascinating. And thank you for staying and, and clarifying that. Yeah, of course. I think that's important too. Good to see you.